Get ready for a whole new Bowls game. This is Bowls 3-5. <laughs> We've ripped up the rule book. There's power plays, shot clocks, fast games in under an hour every Tuesday and Wednesday night. Bowls like never before. Bowls 3-5 starts October 23 live on Sky Sports. Proudly brought to you by Somerset Retirement Villages. Good evening to the Bowls 3-5. This is week three and I've got with me the Stokes Valley Vipers with Seamus Curtin, Lisa White and this man, the 17 year old. I'm going to start with this man, this, this lovely man here, James Cameron Powell, right? Yep. Six foot six. Yeah, not your average size. <laughs> no, average size. Um, so you just finished out of college? Yep, yes I have. Last year. Did you get, uh, is it your mother that got you in the bowls? Is that what the Yes. So I used to always have to go and watch her play into club and different events. And I got, Stokes Valley? Uh, no, she played out of Hutt. Right, okay. So I decided, oh, why not give it a go? And uh, since day one, I've just loved it. I loved the competition. Loved even having dish draws back then. So... <laughs> So, um, you've won, I think, four club titles, two senior titles, is that right? Yep, yep. So, you're, uh, you play, what, what other sports do you play? I, you know, <laughs> six foot six? So, I played uh, rugby league when I was younger. Good man. Um, rugby union for school last year and the year before. At ATA College? Yep. Um, the first 15 was it? Nah, just second 15. Right. A bunch of the boys wanted to go in, so right. like, why not? Bit of fun on Saturday. Yeah, other than that, not really. And uh, so you, you're, so you're leading tonight in your debut, yep. and your head boy of last year is the <laughs> skip. Is that, is that correct? Yes, it is. Yeah. Right. So how did you go that he's the head boy? You know, I've heard all these wonderful things about him, but now I can get the truth. Oh, all I don't right? know where they've heard that from. Uh, <laughs> nah, he's, he was awesome. He was awesome. Always looking after people, uh, supporting everyone, looking after the younger ones at our school. He was great. So, so next year you go, you you finish college now. You're on to where you go to now. Uh, same as Seamus actually. I'm going to be having a gap year. Oh, a gap year. This is yeah. a new this is a new word for being. I don't oh. know what to do. I don't know I'm be... what I want to do. Or I don't know how how your taxpayers are going to pay for me. Is that what? <laughs> is, is, is that what sort of the role it is? Or uh, so I'll be I'll be working. I'll be trying to find a job, juggling with bowls. I got, I'm pretty busy with bowls, so I'm going to try to juggle things. Um, but yeah. Just have a gap year, and then hopefully after that, I decide what I want to do. Study maybe. You know, when I went to college a hundred years ago, um, if I'd have told my father I was going to have a gap year, I'd have had yeah, I'd have, I might have had a gap in another part of my anatomy. <laughs> I, I would say, but it seems to be uh, a bit of a thing now. So you enjoy your bowls, though, obviously, I don't love you? Love my bowls. I just want to keep going, keep going, keep practicing, keep trying to get better. So have you played in any of the likes that? Age group events like the ones in they have they had been in Wellington last year, didn't they? Under 18s or whatever it yeah, was. Yeah, so I played in the um, under 18 singles, New Zealand singles, the under 21 singles. I actually played against Seamus in the under 21 uh-huh. singles had final. Yeah, we, we final. played each other in the final. Uh-huh. Yeah, and um, he got me easy, but you know, yeah. yeah. Did he try and sort of was he a gamesmanship? Did he try and sort of psych you out of it? Did he? Was he sort of? Oh, he paid me a hundred bucks. He did. Though. I thought, we ah, gonna, okay. Win, yeah. yeah so, it, so, it was, so you split the prize money, sort of thing. Oh, yeah. Hope yeah. you paid tax on it <laughs> in, your, in your gap year. <laughs> so Lisa, um, of course, Lisa, what very well-known bowler from the Wellington area, who's played for New Zealand, um, and you've played the whole three weeks or coming up three weeks. What's your view on this new format? Good, I've, enjoyable. I've I've enjoyed every minute of it. Probably not the first week because it no, wasn't a good week. No, it didn't but, go too well, did it? But we're coming right. Yes, well, it's a well, it's six weeks, isn't it? So how how does the is it the top top three top three is it? So that the top team gets a buy. Is that how it works? And I presume in two and three play off, no. I would imagine, and they, and they go through the final. So. So you still got plenty of games up your sleeve, haven't you, really? We do. And tonight you play the Point Chef Pirates. They've been going pretty steadily, haven't they, the, yes. the local Auckland team? They, uh, you know, they've been there about. They've won, uh, they, they third, are they, I think? Yeah, they're, they're, they're up there anyway, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. And, and just uh, for people who are watching this, uh, just excuse the noise in the background because we've got the wood end uh, jets playing the 
Stoke Thunder out behind us now, live in the Stokes Valley side. They'll be playing immediately after that. So the noise you can hear is the crowd behind us. So, Seamus, um, what's your thoughts on this? I think it's awesome as well. Cool, fast, loud, and it's really cool. It's really good, really different from what we're used to, and it sort of sends a different image to other people in the crowds. And the so do you feel for you, who you, you know, you're very competitive players, we know that this sort of, this helps your suite of, you know, playing formats and concentration and all sorts of, it, 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 it helps to deliver, I think. It's interesting talking to Mike Coonahan, in fact, last week after the, uh, after the four rounds, and he is of the opinion that it's actually good for the top players because it's certainly, you've got to keep your concentration levels up. There's, the margin of error is, uh, there isn't really any, you pay, don't you? If you, if you muck up, you, you pay, don't you? And so it is, it is a good event for that as well, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, well, you practice about an hour and a half before you actually play, so it's about just coming out as best as you can, really. You kind of changes out there as well, so, um, and really, you just got to focus on winning the their power play and winning your own power play and Winning that power play is pretty important, isn't very it? Important, with, yeah. with five ends, you know, yeah. you can't afford, you know, to really miss out on that. And yeah. so now you've got your ex-college man alongside you, yep. making his debut. How do you reckon he'll go? Oh, I think he'll go great. We've talked to him about a few things, and I think he'll he'll just go out and smash it. So, I'm sure he will. So, Lisa, what's your plans for this year? Um, I'm probably going to have a little rest. A gap? Are you going to gap <laughs> no, 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 Oh, right, OK. Just a few months <laughs> off, I think. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, right. So, but you still want to play competitively, obviously, oh, yes. don't you? Yeah, that's it. You know, you still want to do that, don't you? Because yeah. I'm playing the National Force, just not the pairs the and National singles Force up here. The National Force 9-9. Who yep. are you playing in that with? Ashley. Right. Kimberly, And Somebody. a girl from Silver Stream, Kenny. Somebody else yeah. will make the team up. Yeah. yeah, well, we'll be there, of course, at the uh, Somerset Fours. We'll be covering that live. We'll be live streaming that. So, Seamus, you've got a big week coming up in uh, Australia next week. Yes. BPL 08 with Ali Forsyth and Joe Edwards. Was Joe just winning the World Champion Champion singles? Yes. Great opportunity for you, isn't it? She went awesome. Yeah, it was great to watch her on the TV. And, it's, uh, yeah. it's really the stepping stone, I would say, for you to put your hand up, isn't it, for... But there's some big events coming up, Asia Pacific, of course, Friends Tasman, and yeah. we've got the World Champs not that far away, uh, really, so this is your chance to put your hand up, you think? Yeah, I guess taking it event by event, so the next event after tonight and tomorrow night is the BPL, so it's going to be amazing, going to be env the environment's going to be epic with all the world-class bowlers there and just soaking in the experience and giving it my best shot. One thing I noticed last year covering the BPL event in Nine Eye, of course, which we'll be doing again uh, well, in this season, yeah. uh, in February, I think. I'm not sure when, sometime. We, I'll be yeah. there anyway. Um, it's a pretty intense few days because it, it's non stop, really, isn't it? You, yeah, it looks like, well, I haven't played in it yet, so, um, but I did marking last year, so this year I'm playing. So it looks like I play three games during the day and then the night game. Yeah, so. and it's. Uh, and they're all played on the indoor, con they all played inside like they did at Nine Night, they don't go outside and play at all, all played in indoor? Yep, I think they just don't play on the um, finals rink, or the right, TV okay. rink, sorry. I don't think so, but yeah, I'll Which we did at Nine Night last year, they still used yeah, the, still, yeah, the TV well, sure rink during all. the day. Yeah. Yeah. So, Asia Pacific, as we know, next year, Seamus, obviously, with, you know, from what you did last year, it must be on the, it must be on the, uh, the view, is it? Definitely a goal of mine, yep definitely to finish that would be near the end of the season too so that's definitely the end of season goal to get to that um, but all I've got to do is focus on every event coming and do so, my best. So uh, for you it's important as well like the Somerset Nationals the pairs and the singles because playing the pairs with Sheldon yep. uh, where you got through the quarterfinals last year yep. and uh, you know the singles you had a good year last year like in the Wellington representative side but it all counts for nothing really now does it because we're in a New season, new um, you know, yeah. new opportunities, isn't it? Yeah, completely. Just keeping that consistency up and those results at a high level, and then go from there. So you finished your year as head boy at AIT College, and yep. now after that very, very arduous year, you have to have a gap year too. I you know, so as you can set your priorities right on the yep. career path of life. Is that yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Um, get a job, find somewhere, um, work, and get some money in, and 
sort of keep my eyes open for any opportunities I can see. Um, I want to get a ticket behind me eventually, um, but I don't know what that is yet, so taking my time and yeah. So Lisa, tonight you're playing the, as I say, the points you've It's pretty important that you continue on that good effort from our game last week against the Woody and Jets that last when you had a, you had a good win. Yeah. So it's important that you, you, you keep that up, isn't it? That's, uh, that's the goal, isn't it? So you only play the one game tonight. And who do you play tomorrow night, do you know? Or you just turn uh, we up? We play Thunder tomorrow. Oh, so, yeah, it's, uh, tonight's yeah. important you get that win, isn't it? And, yes. And get yourself a bit further up a bit further up the ladder, isn't it? Because uh, you, you don't want to drop too far no. behind the pack, do you? So, so, James, how are you looking forward to your first game here in the Bowls 3-5? I tell you what, you'll frighten a few people anyway. <laughs> six foot six. And, yeah, uh, I'm definitely excited. Uh, it's a great opportunity, you know. Um, go out there, have some fun, and hopefully get the win, you know. So you've been playing for four years, I believe. Oh, four years, did you say? Yeah, you've been oh, playing. No, I've been playing for seven years. Se oh, God, you've been playing. You've been playing for like ten, I think. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. And it was your mother, I believe, that encouraged you into the into that. Uh, into yep. the game and Joe Edwards is your your sort of it's, you, you look up to Joe Edwards yeah as definitely, a, definitely I think she's achieved and the way she is just something to look up to yeah definitely she's, uh, she certainly gives the impression on the green she's a pretty relaxed sort of player as well yeah, isn't she? yeah. Which, is, uh, which, which is good now I, I have to ask you I, I'm reading here that um, yeah this is incredible this uh, what's your most embarrassing memory right? this is uh, I've got it down here in black okay, and white. So, so I think my most embarrassing memory would be oh, doing a backflip off Parramatta Bridge. Um, and I actually landed wrong and hit my face in the water. Um, I'm not sure how high it was, but it's, it's, it's a really big bridge, eh? And, well, yeah, it was a good well, laugh after Well, though. like myself, it was a fairly large part, part of anatomy <laughs> as well, arriving in the water as, as Yeah, well. definitely. Uh, it was just, on the moment, just did it. No, I don't regret it. Good, Good on you. And, and so what other sporting interests do you have besides... Uh, oh, I love my rugby. Good. Rugby league. Um, Your I, Warriors supporter? Yeah, definitely. Up Thank the you. Warriors, that's yeah. Good. yeah. That's good. I'm very pleased to hear that. Um, Hurricane supporter. Very good. Pleased love to the hear hurricanes. that too. But yeah. And the Barracks, please. <laughs> Oh, I'm more of a um, Lord Marpeer fan, but... Mm. Yes, he, well, an ex-warrior, of course, as well. But I, I was, exactly. The, the Barretts and I actually went to the same college in Taranaki. Oh, so really? That, yes, along with Conrad Smith and, oh, and uh, Rick awesome. Atelli. So there's a few of our college who are, uh, who are all there. So you're, you're a good Hurricane supporter. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, most people actually wonder why I'm playing bowls. You know, my size... Are, I certainly they do. All, they all, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm not a surprise. But, yeah, everyone thinks I play rugby. But, uh, lawn bowls is where it's at. Eh? I love it. And tell me, if, if you... You might be able to tell me this, Seamus, so because of Stokes Valley, uh, it's a very, very much a community club, isn't it? You know, it's highly emphasis of the community club, isn't it? And of course, at the recent Bowls New Zealand Awards, they just won, was it the Club of the Year? Club what of the Year, yeah, yeah. So, I think they're an amazing club. I didn't start there. I actually moved there because of the environment and just their culture that they have. Um, the support you get on Facebook and um, at every event you play, you've always got supporters on the side. And to even have one of the club members who oh, runs the Habit. Habit? Are they? So uh, they're our sponsors, so thank you to Steve and John and Cherie. Right. Thank you guys. So get <laughs> so that in there. good sponsor, that's good. Yeah, they've been awesome and they've helped that's us with this and we yeah. got some jerseys as well, so that's so awesome. So talking about the Facebook, because you've been involved in some of the things that we've done, what's your view now? We're very much into this live streaming of events and you know, what's your thoughts on that? Is it, is it the way forward? I think it's, I, I love it. It's, it's again like this, sort of targeting social media which targets a lot different audience you could say um, and it's just yeah it's great well this week we actually start this weekend tomorrow and I are in Nelson uh, we're covering the Stoke Piers in Nelson uh, this week and I believe as well in Wellington the uh, disabled bowls uh, commence on Monday yep. and they're live streaming and then uh, right throughout this year, I'm going to events um, all over the place. And, and Busy man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and well, you still want me this, that's fine. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we, we, we are, we're doing a lot of live streaming. I definitely think it's uh, because of the challenges with what I would call the mainstream media. Yeah. The, the live streaming certainly is a. Is definitely. A, and thank you to all the Bowls New Zealand people. Well, and I think with this event, you know, awesome. a big thank you to Sky, you know, for for, Sky, yeah. for the sport to have, you know, six weeks of uh, 
you know, three hours a night, you know, 36 hours of live television. Um, bowlers have been screaming out for live television. Well, mm. we've got it. And full marks to Bowls New Zealand, a big thank you to Scott. Definitely, definitely. So, Lisa, you're a member of Nino. You're sort of the across the road or across the valley, so we call it from Stokes Valley. Now, you've got that magnificent new complex at Nino. Tell me all about it, because I think it's fantastic. I think it's... Uh yeah, it's amazing. You go there and you just think, wow, um, the members, we've got about 700 members now. Can I just stop you there? Because I'm led to believe, and, and to everyone out there watching, listening, mm. whatever, it highlights about bringing clubs together and becoming a, a multi-use, a community club now. Am I right in saying that when, prior to the merger of it all coming together, the membership was around the 200 mark in total, is that right? Yes. And you're now at 750. Yeah. Speaks for itself, doesn't it? And, and there's, like, when I was down there, I was down there last year for the Interclub final, of course, the BPL, and uh, there's activity there all the time, isn't there? You know, it's a, it's a real hub now, isn't it? It's a, it's a, yes. It's a community and sports hub in Nainai, isn't it? Yep. It's, uh, and we've got, uh, we had, like, coaching sessions because we've got so many first year bowlers that want to give fantastic. it a go. Fantastic. So, yeah. And so we've got the, the indoor complex, which is fantastic. And there's that three outdoor three greens. Outdoor. Three Three, you know, the natural surface greens. Yeah. So it, it provides for, you know, I, I've, you'd be pleased to hear this, I've, my viewpoint is that I would like to see Wellington, Nine Eye as an example, become the central point for major bowls events um, under the management of Bowls New yeah. Zealand. And the reason being, because it is it is so central for both, you know, like for both islands. Um, it's got three outdoor greens, and if we have adverse weather, etc., um, of course you can move indoors like you can here. And I just think at long last we've got an Australian-type complex um, yeah. in, in Wellington. And it was interesting at the BPL, talking to the likes of Ryan Bester, Alex Marshall, and the Australians as well, that they spoke so highly of the whole thing and, and the surface and... So it's a credit to, to all of those people who, who put that together because I think, I reckon, um, they're, the, well, they're the beacon going forward for clubs, aren't they, what, what Nine I have done. And I urge clubs, come on board with what Nine I have done because it's well worth it. So you people have got a game shortly. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck for tonight. Good luck for the rest of the event. And good luck to this man here, the, uh, the new player, who I'm sure we're going we're gonna to enjoy watching watch it and play tonight and good luck for your gap years all right <laughs> <laughs> thanks for your time Thank you. and uh, all the best get ready for a whole new bowls game this is bowls 3-5 <laughs> we've ripped up the rule book there's power plays shot clocks fast games in under an hour every tuesday and wednesday night bowls like never before Bowls 3-5 starts October 23 live on Sky Sports. Proudly brought to you by Somerset Retirement Villages.